Okay, let's have a look at the new Affinity Designer just released today. So here's the launch screen. Uh, we can look at some basic application settings here. Uh, I've changed my default save location to my iCloud drive. And also I've set left-handed mode, which from what I can tell just moves the tool selection over to the left-handed side, uh, making it easier to use the Apple Pencil as I'm doing. Uh, um, color profiles. Tool basic settings. And looks like we can import fonts uh, from the cloud here. So we can start with a new document. There's also some tutorials and sample documents. Now I'm no graphic designer. I typically use uh, Affinity on the desktop for modifications and sometimes ground up designs uh, for my CNC machine uh, or vinyl cutter. I do really wish that they included DXF support. Uh, I don't know why it's so difficult for I iOS apps to include DXF support. Uh, I'm not a designer. There must be something that makes all of the vector apps seem to skip the uh, support direct for cutter type of operations, which would make it just amazing. Uh, so on our new document uh, screen, we have some uh, default settings. Uh, again, because I'm usually using something for a CNC machine, I change to millimeters. I find it the easiest to work with, uh, even though I'm in Canada and a lot of our materials come in imperial measurements. I do mostly work in millimeters. Here's our new screen. You can see I've got my tools on the left hand side uh, because of that left handed setting that I changed. Again, allowing me to work with my pencil here and uh, change tools from this side here. So, if we pick out a uh, pen tool and we'll just do a random shape. Alright, so that worked pretty good. Uh, we do have in our rectangle tool here, you can see we do have the exact measurements. So there's our dimensions and we can keep it locked or open it up and position. Uh, got some alignment options. So over here we have our color picker, our uh, line details, stroke, etc. Different pen types have layers. Have our icon browser preloaded with iOS 12, so they're expecting the release. I'm not sure what the sync symbols does. We'll have to have a Closer look, again, I typically only use some basic shapes and the uh, measurements here. Here's our uh, layer effects. And adjustment layers. Text controls, and again, our measurements and scaling. So overall, it looks like it pretty much has all of the same same features as the desktop version, seems to be very responsive, anything I do with the pencil instantly on, uh, on the screen, same with my finger, works very well, so I'm excited to actually try to use it in a real life setting. So thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel.